standing here in front of this group this morning as I kind of put you to the fire in your hearts and in your memories. You already know everything I'm going to say. Alma. Alma Hall. Okay. Can you talk a little louder? Can we start over? No. No. <laughs> no. Just keep going. Alma. Alma Hall. That sounds strange to most of our ears. We don't and don't think of her as Alma Hall. To us, it was mother, mom, grandma, grand. A few years ago, we even heard Hazel. But for me, I want to talk about mom. At a very young age, 17, she became a mother, raised four children, and a husband. <laughs> she was a stay-at-home mom, meant she didn't work outside the house, but she was always there for her family. She kept a spotless home and cooked three meals a day from scratch. I'm talking rabbit hash, chicken and noodles, squirrel, goulash, the list goes on and on. Sometimes she would even get up early enough to make bread from scratch, fry it, and give it to us kids before we went off to school. She almost became a seamstress, but not quite. She made a few outfits for Becky and I. But I tell you, when it came to mending, hemming, sewing on a button, she was lightning fast as we were walking out the front door sometimes. Mom was not much of a joiner of clubs, social groups, coffee clutches. She did take part in the PTA and the Optimists. But with us four kids and grandpa, volunteering her for everything, she was kept pretty busy. Well, until late yesterday afternoon, I thought this next comment would come as a surprise, but I guess not. I always thought mother was the rock of our family. That means that she was responsible for raising five of us. It's just a little memory that I have is I was getting ready to go on my senior class trip. We lived in St. David and I was upstairs in our bedroom packing. Mom walks up the stairs and tosses a pack of cigarettes in my suitcase. I said, what, what are you doing? She goes, you're going to need these and I don't want you to spend your money on it. She was right. As soon as I got on the train, I started smoking them. To this day, I don't smoke. She knew what she was doing. She gave me unfiltered camels. <laughs> Mother was also the enforcer. All of the decisions came through her. She did slap me once across the face. I'm sure I deserved it. But I felt that I could go to her and talk to her just about anything. Both my mom and dad had to grow up as their children were growing up. It was quite a challenge. Lucky for us, they were both hard workers and great partiers. When it comes to working, we all remember the thousands of ducks that daddy claimed and mother gutted. And then we would drive to Chicago and sell the feathers for our extra income. I think my love of cooking stems from all the catering that they did and the serving of meals to the people at the Elks Club in Canton and all the other places over the years. I would love to call mom and ask her about a recipe or share a menu that I was planning for the future. Now when it comes to play, we were very fortunate. Growing up, we had lots of family reunions and both sides of the family participated. They could go on for days. It was always entertainment, and I think mom's favorite pantomime act that her and daddy did was, you are the reason my kids are so ugly. <laughs> mom and dad were very fortunate to travel, and they went to all of our homes. We got to go to their home, <coughs> and wherever they were, a party always broke out. And if you were the unfortunate one that weren't there, you knew you were missing out on a good time. 
I'm sure the grandchildren remember the camping or big camping that they did in the school bus. Daddy was the dreamer, mom was the organizer. I don't really remember mother being afraid of too much in general, except for heights and water, which she definitely passed down to me and my husband regrets to this day. But I don't think any of us got her ability to play music by ear. During the last decade of her life, she became extremely dependent on my sister Becky and my brother-in-law Howard. They willingly and unselfishly saw to her every need. This gift we can never repay. We started losing mom, mother, grandma, the one that we knew about a year ago. She was getting tired. She didn't enjoy gambling, traveling, or the day-to-day -day of life. Her husband was gone. Her children were grown, and she had done her best. Now, I need to say this. Mom, the toilet has stopped running, and it's safe to leave. 